2018 Lexus RXL review. The good points of Lexus RXL. Very nicely finished cabin. Quiet, refined drive. Should prove reliable. The bad points of Lexus RXL. Woeful infotainment media system. Not much to put keen drivers. Adults will struggle in third row. The Lexus RX was one of the primary premium crossovers, launching two decades ago about the same time because the pioneering Mercedes-Benz M-Class. Its customer appeal has as yet been hampered by its provision of five seats, even though the market has gradually moved to seven-seater SUVs. It's targeted at the likes in the best-selling Audi Q7, Volvo XC90, BMW X5 and Range Rover Sport. In summer 2018 Lexus launched its repost, the slightly longer RXL, stretched to allow for a third row of occasional seats, letting buyers make a choice from a car with five or seven chairs. It is usually a separate standalone model as well as the regular RX continue on sale. Lexus predicts that around one three of customers will find the L model tested here. Lexus RX 450HL, the seven-seater SUV. Only one variant is sold inside UK, the RX 450 HL, signifying so it's the hybrid petrol electric version. Other markets elsewhere in Europe give a petrol in the power drain, nevertheless it's inaccessible here. The 3.5 litre V6 petrol engine is mated in an electric motor on each axle along with the RXL constantly juggles relating to the three power sources. There is an EV mode button for the center console that drivers can choose if they wish to wear out partying silently for ultimate how warrior status. Just be mindful that one could only drive for several miles prior to a small battery will likely be depleted plus the engine begins to take over. Do I have to turn on my Lexus RXL? No it isn't a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, or FEV. Instead. The V6 Petrol provides charge on the nickel metal hydride battery power under the rear seats and also this is why Lexus initiated a policy of referring for the technology like a self-charging hybrid. The system is successful and there is little complication for drivers to tackle, merely slot the automatic transmission into D for drive and hang up off. Electronics constantly shuffle the energy supply. The only real indication of what's happening being the electronic display between your speedo and strength dial. Lexus RX 450HL prices and specs. With simply a single engine available, the RXL price structure is very easy. UK prices started at £50,995 in June 2018 around £2,400 greater regular 5-seat RX. Choose from three trim levels say, Luxury and Premier, which had extra goodies for every single spec upgrade. Say Satan of with European mapping, 18-inch alloy wheels, leather upholstery, reversing cameras, electric seat adjustment, keyless entry and ignition and electric tailgate standard on every model. Luxury larger 12.2-inch central digital display, 20-inch alloy wheels, wireless smartphone charging, LED headlamps. Premier color head-up display, Mark Levins and stereo, rear door sun blinds, adaptive dampers for greater suspension range many different road conditions, sunroof, heated middle row seats. Lexus UK expects the luxury model to become the most popular, comprising nearly 60% of sales here. Lexus RXL Review, what's it prefer to drive? It's crucial that you realize how the RX 450HL shares precisely the same wheelbase as being the regular RX the main oily bits are the same and there is no change to your distance involving the wheels. Instead, the other space arises from an elongated buttocks, stretched by 110mm. So, it drives within a similar fashion for the 5-seat car. The Lexus RXL is actually a long vehicle at precisely 5 meters and at around 2.2 tons, but it really never feels unwieldy. Luxury and premier models get six parking sensors plus a camera to help you squeeze into spaces. On the street, the RX 450HL incorporates a laid-back gait. It is an extremely relaxing car they are driving, with impeccable refinement, 
whisper quiet powertrain and little wind noise of double glazing helps here. At a cruise, it is quite impressive. However, that piece is disturbed somewhat in the event you go for an overtake or increase a steep hill, the continuously variable transmission CVE gearbox sends the rev soaring sky high since the V6 engine wakes up and its thrust. In fairness, the powered rain is more preferable than earlier iterations as well as in day-to-day -day driving. It's additional relaxed. It is impressive when the car runs using electric power alone. A natural F logo has lights in the dashboard and you just cruise silently for very long stretches in and away from town, virtual halo firmly intact above the head. If you need a dynamic, more involving drive, we'd consider the more engaging BMW X5 or Range Rover Sport, the RX is detached and sterile, even during sport mode. But we commend its concentrate on chilled out comfort. It's bang on to the Lexus family character and SUV buyers favoring comfort and premium luxury over cornering prowess will like it. Practicality The 1-7 seats. Accommodation inside front and middle rows is generous. There is no transmission tunnel at all with the second row, making room enough for feet and headroom is plentiful. There is surely an impressive 150mm of fore-aft adjustment from the middle row allowing you to juggle space for luggage and limbs. Crucially, what's more, it means you are able to slide the bench forwards to help ease entry towards the third row a simple, on a handed affair. Seats 6 and 7 collapsible and down electrically and so are best accessible children or small adults on short journeys, room for head and legs is tight. Though competitive together with the class norm, and there's third row climate control as standard so kids within the back will be as cool or hot as they wish. Perhaps more impressive than back row accommodation is luggage space. Unlike some seven-seaters, the boot can be a decent size at 495 liters when set up as being a five-seater. Pop down both rows of rear seats along with the cargo bay stretches in an echoing 966 liters. There's room for an abundance of luggage regardless of whether all seven pews are usually in use. Build quality is exceptional throughout, Lexus has interior quality lick therefore we have every reason can be expected the RXL for being a safe and trouble-free long-term proposition. Just make sure you are attempting the outdated and fiddly Satan of and infotainment before you commit find the Mausa operated multi-controller system that needs to be controlled from your left hand for being a real pain compared with all the class norm nowadays. Lexus RX 450HL emissions and running costs. This is one in the RX's party tricks. Its hybrid powered rain brings by a devilishly attractive tax and running cost advantages especially should you're a firm car driver. There is no diesel option and Lexus incorporates a compelling case as being the world, rightly or wrongly, turns against DERV. Claimed CO2 emissions start at 136 GKM for the say grades 18-inch allow wheels, rising to 138 GKM within the bigger wheeled models. Fuel economy meanwhile is stated at 47 miles per gallon. In reality, we expect 40 plus mpg to become a feasible end in typical driving. Be warned that service intervals are shorter versus the German competitions, you should visit your local Lexus dealership every 10,000 miles or annually. Insurance group rankings vary between group 41 and 43, dependent upon which spec level you plump for. Latest deals from Buayacar. Lexus RX 450 hours 3.5 Sport 5 Drum CV. 33,980 pounds or 444 pounds a month Lexus RX 450h sport estate 43,950 pounds or 599 pounds each month see all deals on Lexus RX representative example representative APR of 7.9 percent borrowing 10,509 pounds over 48 months on HP type finance the quantity payable could be £250 per month, which has a total cost of credit of £1,483 along with a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Buaya Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, 
WC1E7DPGB0915105858 is often a credit broker regulated by FCEAFRN 667368. The verdict. The Lexus RXL is often a clever addition on the RX family and can SP watch its fascinate more buyers. SUV company is increasingly wanting the security blanket of having one third row perfect to seize another few kids for the school run or achieve that emergency taxi back from your Sunday lunch outing. If you rate the Lexus RX and its give attention to comfort, reliability and generous equipment levels, the probabilities are you'll just like the more practical 7-seater RXL. Just try the quirky infotainment system first and make certain the detached comfort oriented drive is usually to your tastes. Stay tuned for your Lexus RX 450H full review on 2.0 liter petrols and diesels with the mainstream range. Petrol Power 4 SQ5 Performance Version. V6 TDI due in 2017, lower powered models may follow. From launch, a pair of 2.0 liter engines, one petrol, additional diesel were available, but during 2017 performance for that Audi Q5 range was uplifted together with the introduction on the SQ5. Efficient TDI Diesel The mainstay from the Audi range for a long time now has been 2.0-liter diesels, so it's hardly surprising that a 190-horsepower version fitted using a 7-speed dual-clutch Estronic automatic gearbox and part-time Quattro Ultra all-wheel drive is expected being the most popular choice. Peak torque of 400 Nm can be acquired low down from the rev range, from 1,7503,000 revolutions per minute, making it easier gain access to the Q5's accelerative power from low speed just the thing for exiting junctions or completing safe overtaking maneuvers. That power delivery feels linear with a slight lag on the turbocharger. Top speed is 135 miles per hour, as the 062 miles per hour sprint takes 7.9 seconds, so it's hardly slow. It's also pleasantly refined, although its quietness was accentuated with the double glazed side windows on our test cars. Like many vehicles fitted with dual-clutch transmissions, the S-Tronic can establish hesitant when pulling away from your standstill or crawl, even though the software contains the transmissions act together. This can show disconcerting at roundabouts, and was more apparent within the diesel compared to TFSI petrol. You do learn drive an automobile around it, though, as well as most buyers this TDI could be the engine to choose punchier TFSI petrol motor. Audi expects approximately 40% of UK buyers to select the turbocharged 2.0-liter TFSI petrol power plant because of their Q5S, a place amplified by fears among London residents that extra charges might be levied against diesel-engined cars. It's also the pick in the 2.0-liter range for the people seeking to maximize performance as opposed to lower their running costs. 252 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque from 1,6004, 500 revolutions per minute ensures it's a really flexible performer, gathering momentum impressively and progressively. Audi quotes a high speed of 147 miles per hour plus a hot hatch like 062 miles per hour period of 6.3 seconds. Unsurprisingly, it's a hushed mechanical unit erring within the side of raspiness as an alternative to screaming for mercy whenever you press on harder. Petrol power for second generation SQ5. While the very first SQ5 employed a diesel engine, this occasion it shares a similar 3.0 liter V6 TFSI 354 horsepower power plant while using related A4 and S5 models. There's 500 newton meters of torque on tap from 1,370 revolutions per minute by means of 4,500 revolutions per minute, enough to get a 062 miles per hour use of 5.4 seconds. Top speed is electronically on a 155 miles per hour. No S-Tronic twin clutch gearbox here. The SQ5 uses an 8-speed Tiptronic automatic instead to cope with the other torque sending drive to any or all four wheels with a full-time quattro system. 
It's undeniably fast inside a straight line but never feels particularly dramatic rivals just like the Mercedes-AMG GLC 43 provide more theater as the SQ5 is incredibly business-like inside the way it gathers pace. The gearbox is a bit Jekyll and Hyde initially sleepy in their responses when set to D and overly keen to go gears in S. The best middle ground involves utilizing the steering wheel mounted paddles to settle on gears for yourself along with this mode the SQ5 is rewarding drive an automobile. Future Q5 Engine Options During 2017 a 3.0-liter V6 TDI will augment the diesel offering, complete having a Tiptronic fully automatic gearbox and permanent Quattro four-wheel drive. There's a chance that a set of two lower powered 2.0 liter TDIs also can make it on the UK in the end. The 150 horsepower edition also available having a manual gearbox and front wheel drive. These aren't component of any immediate plan. Audi remains tight lipped in regards to the prospect of whether plug in hybrid or full I electric e-tron version from the Q5, but perform expect a racier RS Q5 in this model's life cycle. Handling can be quite competent and not exactly fun. Ride quality with optional air suspension impresses. Two modes for off-roading enhance the Q5's appeal. You won't choose an Audi Q5 given it offers essentially the most thrilling driving experience within the segment, nonetheless its handling characteristics are well balanced and conducive to cooking brisk progress and comfort. There's one significant caveat here. All from the Q5s we've driven up to now have been fitted while using excellent, but optional, adaptive air suspension system. Models fitted with standard steel springs and conventional dampers, together with adaptive ones, are going to be sampled on poorly surfaced UK roads, as will the high-performance SQ5. Audi Drive Select is standard along the range allowing various aspects with the Q5's handling parameters, throttle response transmission shift pattern and steering response for being very door mixed based upon personal preferences. Steering's an area Audi's had to deal with criticism within the past, but this Q5, along with all the A4 and A5 ranges it shares its underpinnings with, attended on significantly. There's an enhanced penetration of feel throughout the wheel itself, more so whenever you switch to dynamic mode although we may have liked a tad bit more weight within this setting. The ride height from the air suspension can also be controlled through the drive select system by toggling between its different modes. Most can keep it in auto for your majority with the time, but comfort's just the thing for traversing poorly surfaced asphalt or applying motorways without difficulty, isolating you further in the outside world. It still feels controlled and composed, though not suffering with exactly the same degree of floatiness you'll experience in the similarly equipped Mercedes Glass. Dynamic mode sharpens inside the Q5's responses, reining in body roll that bit further, yet while it's immediately firmer, it's not jarringly so, sharper ruts still think that their edges are already rounded off. Flicking for this mode also lowers the vehicle by 15 millimeters. If you're going to venture away from the beaten path using your Q5, then your outroad boosts the ride height by 25mm and offroad and additional 20mm higher modes will get lots of use, increasing ground clearance for making traversing trickier terrain something you may do confidently. In these modes the ride quality isn't as soft but feeling those extra bumps and crevices keeps you more tuned on the surface conditions. Sporty RS Q5 tightens up handling. The fastest Q5 offered the SQ5 offers a remarkable handling and road holding for an automobile this size, harking back to a large hot hatch. Grip levels are huge together with the Quattro system clinging on the tarmac with neck straining ability, and body roll is kept well under control providing you choose the dynamic drive mode. The only complaint really is with all the steering overly light and free of feel. Dose necessarily inspire confidence like the create and more driver focused cars just like the Porsche Macan. As an outcome the SQ5's best performance is done using a little performance kept in reserve, as an alternative to being driven at 10 tenths. As such it makes for just a superb grand tourer. Beautifully made cabin. Feels special in any other case innovative. Few blind spots, excellent visibility.
within Mark's wholly justified reputation to the supreme quality of their interiors, there's no surprise the Audi Q5's cabin can be an exquisite put in place which to pay time. Like the Q5's exterior, its passenger compartment doesn't stray far from Audi conventions with regard to how it looks, here it appears like there's a fusion of A4 and Q7 taking, and that's no bad thing. Plastics from the upper reaches from the dashboard possess a satisfyingly deep level of squidginess, while all things are assembled by using these accuracy and dealing to incredibly tight tolerances, that it appears like it will last for a long time and still be competitive with it was on the first day. Expensive feeling switch gear feels delightful to work with and is beautifully weighted, reinforcing the Q5's premium positioning although we remain unconvinced regarding the multimedia computer screen that now stands proud from the dashboard with a permanent basis, as an alternative to be ensconced within its domain or glide effortlessly outside of sight it uses very little. Audi's not the first to use this tactic also it cites a buyer preference for having these table taping screens on show all with the time. Should you wish to produce your Q5's cabin feel more specially be able to push the boat out financially and opt for the 12.3-inch virtual cockpit, a configurable screen that replaces the standard instrument cluster, or even the excellent head-up display HUD that projects data to the windscreen. Best to decide on one or the opposite, both is like overkill. Finding a good driving position is definitely achieved irrespective of whether or not top seats are electrically adjustable, plus the steering adjusts for distance and angle. All round visibility's decent, too, helped through the Q5's third side windows and slender windscreen pillars. Air suspension improves Q5's comfort. Leather seats and 3's own climate control. Rear seat could well be a squeeze for 3 adults. One aspect that this first generation Audi Q5 majored on was comfort. Also it features all the more prominently second time around. It's worth reiterating that until now we have only driven the Q5 fitted while using optional air suspension system, which serve as one with the most cost setting experiences on this corner from the SUV market. Even inside appropriately titled comfort setting, the Q5 remains composed, rarely suffering on the kind of nausea-inducing floatiness that blights the Mercedes GLC when equipped having a similar type of suspension. Most Q5 buyers are expected to find the S-Line trim, full of 19-inch wheels. Even with those, in dynamic mode, passengers are incredibly unlikely to complain about being jolted about. As per the category norms, you will discover five seat belts inside Q5, Although seating a quintet of adults comfortably is going to be a challenge, especially while using narrower, firmer center rear seat. For up there'll be no grumbles, with decent head and legroom as well as a fine view out through the elevated seating positions. The seats themselves feel completely supportive, all front chairs produce an electrically adjustable lumbar support, while standard leather trim helps to make the cabin think that bit more special. Only S-Line versions have rear privacy glass and acoustic side windows to limit exterior noise entering the cabin as part from the standard package. 3's own climate control features throughout the lineup, enhancing comfort that bit further. Wind noise is low, but some types of road surface do amplify the tire roar, although it's effectively drowned out whenever you turn within the audio system. 4 trim levels for example the SQ5. All are generously equipped. Extensive and expensive options. The familiar specifications of say, Sport and S-Line were joined right after launch with the Sporty SQ5. Standard Audi Q5 SUV equipment. If you can remember the days when say, for special equipment, was the pinnacle on the trim hierarchy, it's the perfect time to get with all the times, here it denotes the entry point to Q5 ownership. Audi doesn't expect many buyers to opt for this trim. Survey the outside and you'll spot the 18-inch 5 twin spoke alloy wheels, Xenon headlamps with LED day or running lights, and full LEDs in the rear. Grills and trim information and facts are black, either matte or glossy based on their location, contrasting using the aluminium roof rails. Once aboard you'll see the leather upholstery, heated front seats, 
3's own climate control and aluminium trim inlays for your dashboard and door panels. The rear seat's broken into three parts within a 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds configuration for added flexibility, as you move the tailgate is electrically operated. Many with the Q5's controls are operated from a much better MMI multimedia interface system, displaying with a 7.0-inch color monitor. There's no Satan of but it is possible to connect your smartphone using Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, while Bluetooth connectivity, a set of USB points and SD card watchers plus an aux in point supplement the CD player, a rarity on contemporary cars. DAB radio and 10 speakers complete the infotainment package. Driving the C-grade Q5 you'll be able for taking advantage in the cruise control, parking sensors, autonomous emergency braking, keyless starting, a parking brake and comfort biased suspension. Audi's drive select system also enables you to vary the parameters from the engine's responsiveness, automatic gearbox shifts and climate control effectiveness. If you decide upon the middle or anking sport, the differences are surprisingly few. The alloy wheels are nevertheless 18 inches, but you are now of the 5 arm star design, as the grille inserts are finished in twilight gray. Moving on the cabin, the common front seats happen to be exchanged for any sportier pair with electric lumbar adjustment, even though the interior's bathed in ambient LED lighting. There are two upgrades to the MMI system, two, Satan of and Audi Connect, that enables access to numerous online services. Next up inside the Q5 range, and anticipated to account for almost two-thirds of sales, is S-Line, that's even sportier than Sport, and demonstrate it's fitted with 19-inch 5 twin-spoke star alloys, beefed up model-specific bumpers and body kit, and also darkened privacy glass towards the rearmost windows. Expect the ride to get firmer nevertheless the handling more agile thanks for the firmer rest sports suspension. The headlights are actually upgraded to full LED units, as the rear ones are hallmarked by dynamic indicators, the beam of amber light pulsates outwards with each flash. There's a smattering of S logos inside cabin, including ones embossed to the leather and Alcantara sports seats, as you move the sportier tire and gear lever are trimmed in perforated leather. Topping the lineup will be the performance-focused SQ5. It looks very similar for the S-Line but is differentiated by 20-inch versions of precisely the same alloy wheel design, electrically adjustable seats with fine Napa leather upholstery, along with the upgraded MMI Navigation Plus Multimedia System. Optional Audi Q5 SUV Accessories 11 metallic and pearlescent paint finishes supplement the two main standard choices together with alloy wheels nearly 21-inch diameter accommodate greater personalization. We're currently running in Sline Spec Audi Q5 long-termer. Watch about some in the optional extras you may choose from, here. Two suspension choices are listed, the adaptive comfort system allows to get a degree of control to vary the firmness while using the Audi Drive Select, but for more control, comfort and enhanced off-roading capability. Greater expensive adaptive air suspension gets our vote. Usefully, Audi has bundled many key options into packs, although many with the component parts are conveniently obtainable as individual options to suit varying budgets. Adaptive Cruise Control Plus Pack Distance Regulation Cruise Control is joined by Predictive Efficiency Assistant, which uses Satan of data to advise the motorist on how to become more efficient or maybe match the area speed limits automatically. There are also two anti-collision technologies built into the system. Comfort and sound pack, electrically adjustable front seats, keyless entry, hands-free tailgate plus an upgraded bang and all in head unit. Light and vision pack, the 12.3-inch virtual cockpit is joined by an increased amount of interior LED lighting, with 30 hues out there and LED matrix headlights which band sections of light to permit main beams to keep partially on without dazzling oncoming drivers. Parking Assistance Pack 360-degree camera positions are supplemented by a computerized self-parking function. Parking Assistance Pack Advanced As the name suggests it builds upon the aforementioned pack with blind spot warnings, 
A rear cross traffic mindful of war and the motive force of oncoming traffic when reversing beyond a space and exit warning to advise occupants of oncoming traffic before they open a door. Technology Pack Enhanced MMI system with 8.3 inch monitor, 10 GB hard disk drive for music storage, DVD player, and wireless smartphone charging for compatible devices. Vision Pack Fully digitized 12.3 inch instrument binnacle, a head up display HUD system to project key information into the windscreen and automatic main beam function. 5 stars when crash tested by Euro and Kep. All have partial LED lighting and all wheel drive. So much remains for the options list, though. As expected, the crash testing experts at Euro and Cap awarded the Audi Q5 the whole 5 a star safety score when it absolutely was assessed. Among the protection highlights, every Q5 advantages of are LED day or running lights and tail lamps, part time quattro all wheel drive full time within the ASQ5, cruise control, autonomous emergency braking a pop-up bonnet for enhanced pedestrian protection, automatic lights and wipers, two ice fix child C8 mounting points inside rear seats and six airbags. What we're disappointed about is the place where much from the plethora of technologically advanced safety equipment remains within the extra cost options list. Although S-Line and SQ5 versions have full LED headlamps, Audi's matrix LED units are extras on all models. These ones banned portions of light in an attempt to not dazzle oncoming cars if your main beam is started up. It's worth noting that automatic main beam lighting is additionally extra. Similarly, Audi's excellent head-up display system that projects key information including speed and satan of directions into the windscreen is additionally optional. Fancy adaptive cruise control, a 360-degree camera, blind spot warning, Cross traffic attentive to advise you of oncoming vehicles when reversing from a space or maybe a clever system in which a warning light flashes should you're gonna open a door with cars approaching from behind? Well all of them cost extra, too. If you're investing in a new Q5 and also have funds to shell out on options, think carefully about whether you will need those larger alloy wheels or perhaps an upgraded sound system over something that could keep you and your passengers safer. Not essentially the most spacious but on par with rivals. Electric tailgate adds further convenience. Would you risk ruining the lovely interior? Despite the premium finish and price from the Q5, buyers of the family-sized SUV still expect a sensible a higher level practicality. Sensible is what they get, too, for Urality doesn't set new standards and capaciousness. Rear seats up. The 550-liter cargo volume is on par using the BMW X3 and Mercedes-Benz GLC, but them folded over its 50 liters shy in their 1,600-liter capacity. Land Rover's Discovery Sport rules the roost here with as much as 1,698 liters. Still, it's so good, and also you do have the additional bonuses of both an electric-operated tailgate as well as a rear seat that split folds in a very 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds arrangement, allowing long, slender loads for being accommodated in addition to carrying four passengers comfortably. If you order your Q5 while using optional air suspension, a bonus in the system is which the rear of the auto can be lowered by 55 mm to support the loading of heavier items. Poke about the passenger compartment so you'll discover the usual mixture of lidded cubbies, door bins, cup holders and also a usefully sized glove box, all nestled into those high-grade interior plastics.